Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithbin.com. And in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use Rode's AI1 audio interface. This little guy is great for anyone who is on a budget, but still wants to record studio quality professional audio into their computer. So if that's you, keep watching. Welcome to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am glad you found me. Here you're gonna find full length step-by-step -step tutorials and reviews, all aimed to help people build, grow, and monetize their WordPress blogs. And if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog Event YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it helps you stay up to date with all the new videos that come out in the future. So thanks again for all your support. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be reviewing and setting up the Rode AI1 audio interface. And as a blogger, you may be asking yourself, why do I need an audio interface? And that's a fair question. But from my experience, a lot of bloggers tend to dabble in different mediums, like they may have a YouTube channel or they may be a podcaster. And if that's the case, having high quality audio goes a long way in the quality of your content. So that's where having something like this comes into play. So. What we're gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up. I'm also gonna show you how to access a free copy of the recording software Ableton Live Lite, as well as take advantage of their two year free warranty. So with that being said, let's get started. So one of the many things I love about Rode's AI1 audio interface is its simplicity. Everything from the packaging to how you use it is super simple and easy to understand. As you can see out of the box, you get just four things the audio interface, a quick start guide, a free subscription to Ableton Live Lite, which I'll show you how to access at the end of the video, and the USB-C to USB-A cable. Then for this tutorial, I'm using my MacBook Pro with GarageBand, which means I'll need to use a USB-C to USB adapter in order for Rhodes cable to connect to my computer. It only cost me about 20 bucks, I think, and all you do is connect the two and you're ready to go. Next, it's time to connect the audio interface to the computer. So on the back of the interface, towards the left-hand side, simply plug in Rode's USB-C cable, like so. Then again, since I'm using a MacBook Pro, I'll use the USB-C adapter to connect to my computer. Next, it's time to connect your microphone or instrument to the interface. And I'm using my Shure SM7B mic, so I'll plug in the XLR microphone cable to the audio input. Then the AI1 interface comes with the ability to enable phantom power. This is required if you're using a condenser microphone. However, if you're using a dynamic microphone, you won't need phantom power. But to enable it, simply press the left knob and when the P48 red light comes on, that means phantom power is working. Then to set your input level, simply turn the left knob as you're speaking into your mic and watch that little light on the left. If it turns red or yellow while you're speaking, that's bad. So just readjust the level and speak into the mic and you're aiming for a green light. There we go, perfect, our levels are set. I should also mention that if you wanna disable phantom power, simply press the left knob again. Next on the right, you have the ability to enable direct monitoring by pressing the right knob. You'll see the additional white light come on, which means your signal now goes from your mic directly to the headphone output. Then turning the right knob adjusts the output level going into your headphones. However, I'm not gonna be using direct monitoring for this tutorial, so I'll press the knob to turn it off. Then if we head over to the computer, your input and output should update automatically, but it never hurts to check. So again, I'm using a MacBook Pro, so I'll open my system preferences. And then open the sound settings. And as you can see within the input tab, the device is set to the Rode AI1 USB. And as I'm speaking in the mic, you can see my input levels are working. Then to check your output, open the output tab and select the device you wanna use for sound output. I'm using my computer speakers, so I'll select MacBook Pro speakers. Next, it's time to record some audio. So let's head over to GarageBand and for this example, I've created a simple audio track and then towards the bottom there within the track recording settings, you can see that the input is set to the Rode AI1. Then when I click record, we can see that the audio input from the interface is being received 
and the audio is being recorded in GarageBand. Then if you play the track back and you still can't hear anything, you'll need to check your output settings within GarageBand. So in the upper left hand side of the screen, click on GarageBand and open your preferences. Then make sure you have the audio MIDI tab selected and under the devices section, check and make sure your output device is correct. I'm using my computer speakers, so I'll want my MacBook Pro speakers to be my output device. Now, if you're still having issues with your audio, feel free to leave a comment below the video and I'd be more than happy to help troubleshoot. All right, and that's it. Like I said, super simple and easy to set up. And now that our levels are set and the interface is connected to our DAW, and I'm running GarageBand for this example, and it's receiving our input, which is the Rode AI1 interface, we can now begin recording audio and creating content. And then the last thing I wanna show you is how to access your free DAW Ableton Live Lite. And if you're unfamiliar with Ableton, it's a top of the line audio software that makes music creation and recording audio super fast and fluid. It includes essential workflows, instruments and effects, and much, much more. And if you purchased a brand new Rode AI1 audio interface, you should be able to get this for free. So in order to access it, you'll need to register for Rode's free two year warranty. And to get started, just visit the link below in the video description titled Warranty in Ableton Live Lite and it'll take you to this page that you're looking at right now. Now, if you're not seeing this page after clicking the link, then you'll probably need to create a free Rode account. However, after you create your free account, you can access this page and register your warranty. And then from here, it's pretty straightforward. Simply select your product from the drop down menu. I'm obviously registering the AI1 interface, so I'll select that. Then on the next screen, you'll be asked to enter your product serial number and you can find that on the bottom of your interface. It'll look something like this. Now your serial number may start with some letters, but just enter the numbers within this field. Then when you get the green check mark, go ahead and click the register button. Then the last thing you'll do is enter your product details and they'll wanna know where you purchased it, date of purchase and proof of purchase. And I purchased mine online, so I'll select online, then enter the date of purchase and you'll be prompted to select the online dealer you got it from, so find them within the list. There we go. And then speaking of proof of purchase, I recommend uploading some sort of invoice or receipt. I'm using a screenshot of my invoice from Sweetwater. Then once everything is filled out, click the complete registration button and success. Your two year warranty is in effect and you'll receive instructions from Rode on how to claim your free copy of Ableton Live Lite within the next three business days. So that's gonna do it for this video. And if you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step-by-step. Step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.